Really quick before you start watching this video, I just want to announce that I will be at the 2014 Mr. Olympia in Las Vegas, and I'm going with Quest Nutrition, so I'll be there uh, all the days, whereas the Friday and Saturday is the expo, so I'll be there um, at the Quest booth. So if you're going, can't wait to meet you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. This is a lot of peanut butter this time. Sit. It's a, it's a lot of it. What's going on, family? Back with the commentary for you all. Today is September 3rd, 2014. And man, it's been a crazy <laughs> few weeks, guys. Um, right now we're in September. So September just started and really have to make some moves now. Um, my lease, which is a one year lease for this gym, is ending in December. So I believe it ends mid December or early December. And this was a one year lease for this small warehouse space. But the next lease I'm gonna do is most likely gonna be a three year uh, deal. It's not, they're not doing one years anymore. If I upgrade, it's most likely gonna be a three year contract. So, um, and the only thing I am leasing with this gym is the actual spot. Um, all the equipment is already paid for, all the, everything's already paid for. It's just the building that I'm pretty much paying for. Um, but like I said, we are going to be increasing space. So right now, 1500 square feet, and I'm hoping to increase from anywhere to, from about 3,500 square feet to about 5,000. And I don't really think I'm going to need more than 5,000. Uh, even with all the new equipment I have and equipment that I may be purchasing, I think that's kind of cap. But right now, these last few weeks, like I said, really just been looking at options, looking at what I want to do, what I want to actually commit to, um, because that's a very big step. Signing something for three years is a huge, huge, huge step. So uh, that's really been what I've been up to these past few weeks. Other than that, a quick body update, not body update, but um, kind of like update on my stats. I know you guys love stats. Currently, I'm weighing in right at about 174 pounds in the morning. Uh, that's pretty consistent. I would say like 174, 175, uh, kind of fluctuating between there. And I noticed my morning weigh-ins are very consistent, and I just think that's due to, I really eat, it's due because I really don't have much variety in my diet. I pretty much eat pretty similar foods uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, but 174 to 175, my macros aren't crazy super high. Um, I would say on average probably about 100 to 115, 120 fat, about 500 carbs or so, 5 to 550, and about 180 to 200 grams of protein. So that's what I've currently been on and uh, loving the results. So when I got back from Body Power mid-May, it was like May 20th, I was about 168, 169, and currently it's September, September 3rd, and I'm about 174. So. Um, gaining right over a pound a month, which I think is perfect, and I'm loving these results. So, gonna continue, and uh, I'll be back with the commentary in a second. So, enjoy these little clips. All right, guys, so finished up a leg workout and also shipped out all the orders, all the labels, everything was packaged and shipped out from this Thursday all the way up till this morning, which is Tuesday. So, uh, here at my favorite restaurant, Chipotle. Chipotle, I'm gonna grab a a little burrito, so I'll show you guys what I get. What? Not serving guacamole. Ooh. I don't get guac anyway. All right, guys, so I got a burrito. Double wrap with double brown rice. Uh, I got chicken, I got cheese, pico, medium, and corn, and that's it. So, not too big of a uh, burrito, but decently sized. And Nikki got a, this is like no rice, so it's like a healthy, not healthy, um, just like a lower carb option. No rice, no beans, just uh, spinach, lettuce thing, with double steak, salsa, and corn. So, low macro, high macro. And enjoy it, and check in the on a little bit. It is about 8.30 p.m. and caught up to work and everything, taking all to the dog park, snacking on some Quest protein chips, barbecue flavor. Uh, honestly, these are like the flavor that I like the most. I don't really like the other two flavors. Um, I really just choose the barbecue. But I'm currently watching some Supernatural. All right, so we already finished season one, and I was actually so hooked from the side. So hooked to the show that I purchased season two. Uh, yes, I, I bought it for like $25 on Amazon. So almost done with season two now. And now we have to like wait for, not season two, uh, what is it, season nine, I believe? 
Yeah, this is like season 9, so they're recording season 10 right now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but now we have to like actually catch up and watch them on live TV as they come out. So, uh, almost done with the season, probably going to finish it up tonight, if not tomorrow, but we're just chilling. So, we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so like I said earlier in the video, currently about 174 pounds, so... Uh, I am going to be continuing my bulk uh, until either, I have three dates that are kind of lingering in my mind. I'm thinking either December 1st, December 15th, or January 1st are the days that I'm going to start my cut. Uh, I'm very excited to kind of see the muscle I put on. Pretty much in December, it'll be pretty much a solid year, at least 85% of the year in a surplus. So super excited to see everything I put on. And uh, yeah, so in the next clip, I'm going to be doing my heaviest set of incline dumbbells and kind of explain to you guys my goals. I was hyped up, guys, so please excuse the language and enjoy this clip. today. Focusing on the upper chest. A lot of incline work. Saying fuck it to the ego. That right there is my ego. Bench press is my ego. So letting that go. Focusing on what I truly want to focus on. Just bringing up my lagging body parts. Developing my physique. Not being the strongest bencher in the room. I need to get that out of my head. Commit to my goals. My bulk is ending in about it's December 1st or January 1st, not 100% positive yet. So I have a few more months to really capitalize on the gains that I want to make. I want to bring up my back, I want to bring up my legs, I want to bring up my chest, my upper chest, delts, everything. So focusing on what I want to focus on to bring up my physique and hit my goals. So doing good. Alright, so like I said, uh, pretty much going to reevaluate my training and probably just add a little bit of volume. I'll add a little bit of volume, uh, decrease my rest time a little bit, just like I used to train, kind of getting back to my roots and focus on bringing up the muscle groups that I want to bring up as far as size goes. Uh, trying to let go of my ego. Um, I know you see me on the flat bench, but I'm actually in a close group here versus the flat bench, but trying to let go of my ego and get away from this mentality of trying to be the strongest bencher in the room and uh, you know, taking these super long rest times because here's the deal guys, when you take a lot of rest in between your main compound lifts, at least for me what happens is if I spend let's say 30 or 35 minutes on bench, on bench press and my workouts are usually about an hour to an hour 15 or even if I spend 40 minutes on the bench press, I spend so much time and energy on that that by the time I'm ready to move into my, you know, quote unquote hypertrophy work or I'm doing, you know, my tricep extensions and my cable flies and my incline presses and everything. I'm so smoked out and mentally I'm not there. So instead of starting out and devoting that much time to one exercise where I'm doing low reps and not really putting myself in the optimal position to gain muscle size and bring up my weak point. So, you know, obviously if you're doing an incline, incline work is going to target a little bit more upper chest. I want to devote that time when I'm fresh into bringing up my weak points as opposed to, you know, messing with the three to five rep range. So that's just what I'm doing over these last few months. Don't get me wrong. I love building my strength, love getting stronger, and I will still get stronger uh, switching over to this kind of training method, but like I said, adding a little bit more volume and focusing on my goals. So that's going to conclude this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, subscribe. Please like this video. It really does help the channel grow, guys. Uh, when you like the video, it kind of, it. I, th I think what it does is it goes more into like different people's recommended uh, views, like on the right-hand column. So. Uh, do that for me and subscribe christianusbuy.com online training and apparel and I'll see you guys in the next video just trying to make an imprint on the game you